Have you ever wondered how much coffee you actually need to brew? Well, today I'm going to talk all about that. We're actually talking ratios, so stay tuned and hear how to figure out how much coffee to use for your cup. Brew ratios. How do we do it? Well, first of all, you're going to need a scale. Now, you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on something quite as fancy as these. Although, wink wink, we do sell them online. Um, but they're more or less better used for a commercial setting. How do we turn that off? Let's push that out of the way. You could always try these Hario scales. So, a scale with a timer and Spoiler alert, it does have to be in metric. We'll get to that. So, the beauty of the metric system is that we can convert fluid ounces into milliliters, and then we can actually convert the milliliters into grams. And guess what? One milliliter it weighs one gram, so they equal the same. That's the beauty of the metric system. Um, but what you'll need is a calculator. Let's say you've got a bag of coffee and you want to brew a 12 ounce cup of insert brewing device. Uh, either it's a pour over, it's a V60, it's a litre cup, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. We are just going to figure out how much coffee to use for 12 ounces. So really quickly you just do the following math. 12 ounces you want to multiply into milliliters and for every ounce there is around 29, 29 and a half, 30 milliliters. I'm just going to say 29 for the sake of argument. So times 29, oops, so 12 times 29 milliliters equals 348 milliliters. Now, we recommend you use a 1 to 15 ratio. That is one part coffee for 15 parts water. So, now that we're here, we know that we have 348 milliliters worth of coffee that we want to make. All we have to do is divide that by 15. Equals 23.2 grams of coffee. That easy. So, what if you want to go large? What if you really want to go big? Let's ask Siri, how many ounces are in a gallon? Hey Siri, how many ounces are in a gallon? That would be 128 fluid ounces. That's 128 fluid ounces. <laughs> we could just skip the ounces part, but I really just want to uh, ram this home. Um, so let's flip back to the calculator. Let's do this math. 128 times, let's just say 29 milliliters equals 3,712 milliliters. And again, now we want to figure out how much coffee to use. So we just really easily divide that by 15 because our ratio that we like is one part water to 15, oh, one part coffee to 15 parts water. Equals, moment of truth, 247 grams of coffee. Now, I'm not here to say that the 1 to 15 ratio is the ratio to use. Anywhere between 1 to 15 to 1 to 17, uh, seems to be kind of the industry standard. There you go. Pretty simple actually at the end of the day. You uh, stick to those ratios and you'll be able to brew any size vessel whether it's a single cup V60, a couple of cups in a Chemex or a large uh, bulk brewer for some sort of function or for your cafe. Now you're an espresso drinker and you might be wondering the same thing. How much coffee do I use for my espresso? Well we're going to tell you, we're going to go down this path, um, but it's going to be a little bit later on. 